What have you predicted that came true? Did people believe you beforehand or afterwards? When I was 12 I had a dream where I learned from a firefighter that I would have exactly two children and they would be boy slash girl twins. I told many people about this because I was absolutely 100% certain it would be true. When we were just dating I told my future wife about it to make sure she was okay with carrying and raising twins. My boy slash girl twins graduated high school this year and are getting started in college. Their grandfather was the fire chief of his town. I had a dream, more vivid, realistic, and emotional than my usual dreams, that my sister got into a nasty car accident on the highway. I woke up as soon as the impact of the crash happened. I called my mom asking where she was because nobody was home. She said she was on her way to where my sister was because she had totaled her truck on the freeway. It was totally surreal. One night, my girlfriend woke me up at night. She was shivering and sweating at the same time. Looked me dead in the eyes and said, we need to get to papa's house. Now, lucky for us, I listened without giving it a thought, and we drove to her dad's house, still in our pajamas with no shoes on. We unlocked the door, she has a spare key as her dad lives alone, and saw her dad slouched over a chair. Turns out he had had a heart attack, and she dreamt him asking for her help. We got him to the hospital in time, thankfully. Like op said, totally surreal. Oh crap my time to shine. Picture it. February 1st, 2004. A bunch of us over a friend's house watching the Super Bowl. Half time rolls around, and as we mill about getting snacks, the lukewarm half time show is rolling on the TV. I was watching it thinking about how little I could care about what I was seeing. I turned to a friend of mine there and said, man the only thing that could save this half time show is some things. And seconds later, Janet Jackson's thing flies out. Agape, we all stared at her thing and then at each other. I have felt guilty all these years thinking it was my fault that her half exposed fun bag crippled her career. Not exactly predicting, but I've made jokes about people and pets perishing and they perished within a day of me joking about their perishing. Two instances stand out. My dad was a deacon who had been assigned to three different churches. The pastor at the first two he was assigned at had both perished recently. I joked to my dad that his current pastor should keep an eye out because he'll be next. I got a call from my dad later that day saying the pastor had a heart attack that morning and was found perished. The second instance happened when I was a kid. I was being in a hole to my little brother one morning and told him as a joke that rascal, our pet dog, had been hit by a car the night before and was perished. The next night rascal was hit by a car and was perished. To this day I feel guilty over perishing rascal and being poopy to my little bro. It was an early lesson in karma. <laughs> Took as many math classes as I could in high school, American. My freshman year, I doubled up and took a more advanced class along with the normal class, so I had one class with juniors and seniors. In that class, the teacher joked that you should always listen because he might say a random word and then ask for it on the test the next day. I might say, blueberries. You never know. He never ended up asking for it. Anyway, fast forward a year and I'm in the next math class with my normal classmates who had never heard him say that, and he did it again. He essentially repeated the exact prompt, so right before he said blueberries, I was ready. We both said it at the exact same time with the same pitch and cadence and everything. Everyone freaked out I explained how I knew, but, even so, most people thought I was a genius. Nope. Just good at remembering insignificant details. When I was a teenager, I told my parents I had a bad feeling about a house we were going to rent. We did a walkthrough and the place just didn't seem right to me. I begged them to renew the lease in our apartment and not move. We moved anyway. Well, it turns out the house was very very old, and I feel very much that it was haunted, and the landlady was actually a manic crackhead. A few months after we moved in, a fire broke out in the wall next to the wood burning stove in the house. Fire Mars Hall concluded the fire was actually due to old faulty wiring in the wall and not the stove. Crazy landlady blamed us anyway and made our lives hell for the rest of the time we lived there. Years later, my mom admitted they should have listened to me when I said we shouldn't move there. 
when I was in elementary slash junior high, my school was at the bottom of a big hill and my house was on a street at the top. When I was 12, I turned to my friend while we were walking home and said in a southern accent, this here hill will come in handy when the flood hits as some sort of offhand jokey comment. Six months later, my city, Calgary, is in a flood, granted not near our suburb, but school was shut down for the last month before summer as most of downtown, which a large river flows through, and the neighboring towns were in severe flooding. Kind of got me shook me, because I vividly remember saying that as it popped into my head out of nowhere, and it came true. I was a 6th grade psychic. I had a dream about an ex-boyfriend telling me he couldn't do this anymore, and rambling on about it the next day I was chilling with him, and he accidentally scrolled to where Tinder was on his phone, or saw him asking another female to hang, and hook up or something along the lines. I don't exactly remember. I confronted him, and he said damn near the exact words that he said in my dream. I don't know if I was just paranoid and dreamed that, but I just had a feeling that I was going to find him cheating in some way. Also, my cat never runs and hides from people ever, but when he'd come to my house she'd always hide from him. My mom worked with a woman that looked a lot like her. Whenever I visited, as a kid, I would always have to do a double take because they had so many similarities. I had this dream for months straight about this woman that looked like my mother and she was walking down the stairs. Right before her final step, she trips and knocks all of her teeth out. I was so spooked and didn't say anything. Fast forward a month and I come home from school for lunch and my mom is home. Weird. She is sitting at the kitchen table and she's really upset. I ask what was wrong and she tells me that her co-worker, who looked like her, had fallen down the stairs the night before and passed away. Writing it out, it doesn't seem so weird. But as a kid I was sincerely spooked. Not exactly a prediction, because when I had the premonition it was already true. But here it is. Senior year of high school, my whole circle knew that my best friend was going to be asked to prom by her crush. She knew we all had a secret, based on some hints and teasing, but we kept the secret from her. In one class with her, she tried to get me to tell her. I said no way. She said she wouldn't tell me her secret then. You don't have any secrets from me. Yes I do, and not even, childhood family friend in group, knows. And I looked at her and I knew. I knew that her mom was pregnant again. I said I know what it is. She said no way. We went back and forth, and the more she talked to me about whether I knew or not, the more convinced we both were that I knew. But she refused to confirm my suspicion, because she wasn't supposed to tell anyone yet. So a few months later, she came to me and asked me what it was that I knew. I told her I knew her mom was pregnant. She confirmed. She gave me the okay to tell people this morning. Our brains are first and foremost wired for pattern recognition. You're just more likely to notice things you've been thinking of. It's why every advertisement and every television show seems to be about pregnancy when you or your partner is late. Why every song is about breaking up when you just did. Why everyone already seems to use in daily conversation a word you just learned. And why it turns out you have every disease known to man after 20 minutes on WebMD. I went to my 25th high school reunion and caught up with a lot of people I'd pretty much forgotten. Saw four of them out in the world, all separate events, within two weeks, in three very different locales, and I lived 2000 miles from my high school. My brain most likely wouldn't have registered their faces as familiar, if not for having just seen them again. We probably pass people we know a lot more often than we think, but your brain can't be looking for every pattern all the time. Like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Once you've spent some time looking for a particular piece, even if you've moved on, you spot it right away when you finally see it. Funnily enough, our brains being wired for pattern recognition is also why people, like most in this thread, are so prone to notice a select few of the millions and millions of combinations of thoughts and events their brain will process in their lives, and suggest that it is more unusual than pure chance would dictate, and why human beings are so prone to superstition, false causation, and false causality. The most bizarre would be a UFO sighting in my hometown. I was a weird kid. 
In elementary school I thought it would be funny to act like I'd had a premonition and so came up with the most random thing I could think of at the time, a UFO. I put on a stunned face, walked up to a couple of classmates and said, this Friday, look to the sky at 8.30pm and you'll see a UFO. The following week they ran up to me and asked how I had known what would happen. I forgot all about what I'd done, so after some back and forth, they say, back quote we did what you said. Friday night at 8.30 we looked outside and saw a green light in the sky. It even made the newspaper. Of course I didn't believe them. So, when I went home I checked the newspapers from the last few days. Sure enough, it was there, and dozens of people saw it. Except for me, of course.